Hey guys, just before this video starts, just want to let you know that my sponsor has a fantastic incentive going on at the moment. If you know a haulier that's interested in getting drivers, click the link down below, refer them to my sponsor, and if they sign up, you will receive 100 pounds. 100 quid. <laughs> click the link down below, refer the haulier, get 100 quid if they sign up. That's brilliant. to my channel my name is Luke thank you very much for watching and welcome to the second vlog in the Mercedes Actros uh, it's actually my third day in it it's Wednesday today I had it since Monday and uh, we've already done our first delivery as you've already seen on the, uh, the dash cam GoPro just realized my beacons are still on so let's turn my beacons off and uh, I'm doing 27 miles now while you're flashing up saying 30 <laughs> Yeah, I'm slowly getting used to the truck. Um, I just had to do, why are you saying 30 again? I'm doing 30. My speedometer says 30 and it keeps flashing. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. I've just been to Stavington, uh, building supplies in um, Stavington. Um, it's just near Cheltenham. And there is a very dodgy uh, reverse maneuver that you've got to do to get in. It's like a blind side reverse. And it's very tight, very tight. And um, yeah, no, I actually got in there, not too many problems at all. I could always see the place I had to go to in my mirror because it wasn't blind so that was good I loved it um, the only problem I had was just getting used to the mirrors because things are I don't know how to word it it's just like slightly distorted um, especially the wide angle because um, that's how essentially you see the back of your trailer is a wide angle lens um, so things are you just got to get used to it once you get used to it it'd be fine but um, just trying to get used to it in a very short amount of time so yeah, no, that was good. Uh, today, we've got to go back to South Cerny, get reloaded to do a Oxford, I believe, then go back to South Cerny, get reloaded to do a Cheltenham. So um, yeah, busy day today. Um, interesting news about my old truck, it's got four new tires on the back on the drive axle, so it might go a little bit faster. So that's what, at least one reason to get used to, uh, no, sorry, it's at least one reason to want to go back into my old truck. <laughs> um, because at the moment I don't want to go back into my old truck. I love this so much. This truck is amazing. I am, I'm actually in love with it. <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway, let's crack on to South Cerny. Uh, get reloaded, be a little bit lighter. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Right, I just wanted to show you this because I'm going up Bird Lip here at the moment in uh, PPC, Predictive Power Chain Control. I think that's what it is. Uh, and it's basically following the car ahead. So I've got the speedometer, no, not speedometer, got the cruise control set at 30 miles an hour, even though it's a 50 miles an hour road. But we're following the car in front, we're staying at a healthy distance behind it, and when it slows down, we slow down. When it speeds up, we speed up. And I'm not touching the foot pedal or the accelerator at all. Like, my knees are bouncing up and down, like, I'm, I'm doing nothing, apart from steering. <laughs> But, uh, oh, this is so cool. It's just so easy to drive. I mean, you obviously, you don't rely on it. If you've got to stop, you've got to stop. But uh, this is amazing. By the way, just for clarification, I'm in lane two because normally Birdlip gets busy because lane one goes off to Cheltenham and we want to go to Swindon. So in lane two to uh, crack on out of the way because 
in a second, people will be getting into lane one. Like now, look, there's one over there. Ugh. The truck just decided to stop then. Okay, it's just deactivated. Don't know why. <laughs> BCP just deactivated all by itself then. Right, got it back on again. Okay, cruise control set at 30. And now we're going to be following that car. 190 feet in front of us, and it's doing 14 miles an hour. We're currently doing 17, so we are catching up slowly. ST Transport, I know them. But it's not detected any car in front at the moment. I have noticed, actually, on the way back, it keeps, not keeps, but twice now, it's popped up saying stop, like an explanation mark. And what that means is it's telling you as the driver to, to make an action, otherwise it's going to do an emergency stop. And once, nothing was there. The second time, it's just coming off a roundabout. It's a bit weird. There's a lot of technology in this truck. See, look, there's no one getting over to the left lane because he wants to go off to Cheltenham. We are going to Swindon. Or Sirencester, if you like. Ba, 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 ba. Right, it's detected the roundabout up ahead as well. Eight miles an hour is what it's suggesting for the roundabout. So, providing there is nothing coming from the right, we should just be able to go straight on to the roundabout. My foot's on the brake just in case. I, I ain't stopping. This is the truck stopping itself. Okay, everyone's turning left. We're good to go. Don't need to stop. The truck's doing this. I've, I've not touched the accelerator or brake at all. Need to get into the left hand side lane now. We wait until we're actually straight. So we can see, it's all clear. Into the left lane. Cool, we're gonna whack the cruise control up to 50 now, because that's the speed limit. There we go, right, so we put the cruise control onto 50 and I was accelerating, and then as that car cut and cross, because we were too close to it, according to the, the BPC, it backed off again. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Right, truck should be slowing down now. Truck slow down, truck slow down. Okay, I've interfered there. I've interfered because the truck wouldn't slow down quick enough for my liking. Engine brake on. Okay, let's turn that off as well. <laughs> Just a little test. You can't you can't rely on it all the time. You gotta you gotta be ready to to intervene, so to speak. So um, so, but it's in, it is interesting. It is interesting. Anyway, let's crack on to Cerny. Right, we're loaded, and we're heading to Oxford. Engine on. Music off. <laughs> Get copyright strikes. Just wait for this bloke to go. And uh, to the right of me is my old mate I used to work with. Um. Used to work with him on tarmac, Reg. I haven't seen him in ages. He used to be in the military, I believe. Right, so yeah, we're gonna head towards Oxford now. Um, I was supposed to go to Cheltenham later, like I said earlier, um, but now I'm going to Chippenham instead. Um, don't know why. They swap the loads around, so. Chippenham, Travis Perkins, uh, it's just down the road from my girlfriend's Nan. I was wondering if I should say that, but yeah, I've said it, so. <laughs> yeah, it's just down, down the road from my girlfriend's Nan. So if they're there, I might be able to say hello, wave to them as I go past, if they're outside. Also, my girlfriend's brother, Luke, who I know watches this, he might be there. Do, 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 do. Oh, we're going to Oxford and go right. This road can be a nightmare to get out of. Oh, just went to grab the handbrake then down by my left <laughs> left shoulder, sort of. But no, it's here. Yeah, this road can be an absolute nightmare to get out of. If I put hill start on and press the brake pad all the way down, it holds it now without actually using the handbrake. Using hill assist. 
clear on the right, just these two cars need to go in. I could have gone out, no problem, but I would have made them slow down because I wouldn't have been able to accelerate quick enough. Okay, we can go. Excellente, we're off. We are off. Let's go. Beacon's off now. Brilliant. Let's get crack hacking. <laughs> See you there. Okay, we are done. We've been here for a long time. Um, two hours, to be precise. Two hours. So we're just building up some. There's a there's a <laughs> Travis Perkins lorry. Right, we're off. Um. <laughs> Love using the horn. Um, yeah, there's a Travis Perkins lorry there waiting to uh, to get out, and I'm obviously in his way. But I needed some air, so I had to build up some air for a little bit before I actually left. But uh, yeah, no, we were there for uh, quite a while. We got here at quarter past 10, and uh, it's now quarter past 12. So yeah, we've been here longer than uh, ideally wanted. Before we actually carry on, I do just want to write down on the paperwork the times. Plus there's a lady coming with a push chair, so just wait for them to cross. So yeah, 10.15 to 12.15, two hours. That's done. Put that back there. That lady with the push chair is now walking across, so so I'll start to make my way forward. Now this can be a nightmare to get out of sometimes. Other times it's really easy. Today is one of the really easy times. Lovely jubbly. Okay, beacon's off. Right, so we are supposed to be going to Chippenham next. Um, Time's getting on. I don't know whether I'll still be doing Chippenham or not. Um, I do need to make a phone call in a sec to say I'm on my way back. Um, but yeah, no, they phoned me while I was there in in, uh, in Oxford just now, like confirming how long I'm going to be, so they can like start organising backup plans. Because obviously someone else can uh, do the um, Chippenham if I'm not back in time. Like, you ain't completely straight, and that's all right, don't worry. So yeah, uh, I don't know whether I'm going to be doing the Chippenham run. We'll have to wait and see. You, yeah, that was an orange light. I let you off. This is quite a tight left turn. Well, not a tight, but it's a 90 degree turn. Normally in a trailer, you'd be blind. You wouldn't be able to see any traffic. And I can see the traffic all the way. The car, I can see the car behind me all the time. I can see the end of the trailer. That was awesome. I love this truck. <laughs> have I told you guys I like this truck? <laughs> right. Let's crack on back to uh, to Oxford. Um. Yeah. Right. We're loaded for our third run of the day. One thing that does annoy, annoy me about this truck is every time you turn the ignition on, it automatically plays music from my Spotify account on my, on my phone because it's linked up by Bluetooth. Um, it's the only thing that really annoys me and I haven't worked out yet how you stop that. Very annoying. <laughs> um, apart from that, love the truck. <laughs> right, so we got back, we got here and uh, the plan, the, well this morning, the plan was to go to Build Base in Cheltenham. And then when we come here, I was told I was actually going to Travis Perkins and Chippenham. I was like, oh, yeah, all right, no worries. So I'd just done the Oxford run, come back, and uh, was under the illusion I'd be doing the build base Chippenham. No, Travis Perkins Chippenham, sorry. And I got back here and they said, yeah, 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 still doing, still doing Travis Perkins Chippenham. I was like, all right, cool. So I put my, got in, put my sides down, 
put in the destination the sat nav again i always have it on even though i'm now to get there just so i know when i'm going to get there it's got traffic updates and everything and um <laughs> they're just about to load me and then uh one of the guys comes over and he goes uh change plan <laughs> you're going to build base chowden so yeah that's where we're going now build base chowden yes all right my beacons are on i'll wait until i'm actually all the way out before i turn them off just to let vehicles know that I am on the road and a little bit slow. Uh, uh, uh. Right, can we get out in one go? It's clear right, it's clear left. He can, he can get out in one go. This is why I got my beacons on still, because that car will now see my beacons and they realise that I'm moving slower than he probably anticipated. Beacons off. Excellente, right, so. What's my miles per gallon looking like? Mm -hmm. 8.1. I've been, uh, I'm trying to drive as economic as I can. Economic? E yeah, economic. I'm trying to drive as economic as I can. Um, low revs, using PPC, using bra engine brake, a lot. And I'm getting 8.1 miles per gallon at the moment. That is fully loaded, going one way, and then coming back empty like estimated tonnage is doesn't say i'm not gonna look any longer hang on there it is 28 yes yeah, an estimated tonnage of 28 ton of bags so and then by the time you take the trailer and truck into uh, consideration as well you're going to be talking 42 43 ton so pretty much fully loaded pretty much and uh, yeah, when, then when, like I said, when I come back, we'll um, we'll be just truck and trailer away. Just truck and trailer away. That, by the way, was the uh, noise it makes when you slightly go over the white line in the middle of the road. Just to let me know that I was drifting a little bit. And you'll break off. Around we go. So yeah, we're gonna go down Bird Lip. Do we go? Do we go all the way down Bird Lip Hill? Yeah, we must do. Yeah. So we've got to go all the way down Bird Lip Hill. Can't remember if I recorded going down Bird Lip Hill or not. I did. I did record going down Bird Lip Hill. That, that would have been in the last video, the last vlog. That looked like one of my mates then, but it's not. Well, I thought I was going to have a horn off. <laughs> Beep the horns, but no, never mind. Right, let's get crack a as I like to say. If we can get out of this junction. Yeah, the van slowed down to let me out. Very nice of him. By the way, I often get told that I never say thank you to people. Um, I always say thank you to people. Normally where the GoPro is situated, it's normally sort of down lower. And uh, I don't know whether you can see my hands or not from where you are now. But where my GoPro normally is in my truck, if I put my hand up, like my right hand just a little bit, and lift it off the steering wheel, GoPro doesn't catch it. So I don't think you can see my hand from there. You might do, because you are slightly angled a bit more. Anyway, let's go. Let's get crack a crack in. Speak to you guys in the room. I do apologise, I've got no mic at the moment. But we are just about here now. Just got to do this relatively sharp right turn. And the last time I came here, I went straight in because there was nowhere to park. And they weren't very happy about it. <laughs> so um, hopefully we can go. Uh, park up somewhere but I don't know. Yeah we should be able to just park on the bed. Yeah 
Yeah, there was, there was cars all along here last time. It's not the best place to park, but I am going to park it. I'm just going to tuck me uh, the cab in to the road. There we go, that should be okay there. Beacons on as well, let people in front know that we uh, we're stopped. Just gonna have a quick word with them inside. And uh press off it. Gonna have a quick word with them inside and uh, hopefully we can get laid. Fingers crossed. Right. Oh well, yeah, just leaving. Wasn't actually here for that long. Uh, yeah, not, not that long, considering. Um, we are heading back to the South Sydney now to get loaded, I believe. I do need to make a phone call on the way just to confirm that we are going back. Uh, and if we do go back, our ETA is quarter to four. So yeah, all things considering, not too bad, actually. I was anticipating not being back until quite late. You keep coming, mate. That's fine. Now this could be a nightmare to get out of. Hmm. Got a learner car there. Okay, I could go after this black car if I'm quick and the car opposite don't go. Yeah, we're good. We worked that out between us, that's cool. Right, windows up, beacons off. <clears throat> so yeah, I do need to make a phone call just to confirm that I am actually going back to uh, South Sydney to get loaded. And um, if I am going to back to get loaded, which I assume I will be, then we'll be there just after quarter four. By the time we're loaded and we get back in the yard, it should be well before five o'clock, so happy, happy days. Um, if he's going to build base, he, the forklift is not going to be very happy at all. And I will tell you why in a second. Let me just make sure I'm safe to talk. I, turn, I turned up to build base just now. That lorry driver was having a good look at the truck. <laughs> yeah, I turned up. I, I walked up to the counter where, the, uh, where he was, as I always do. I said, all right, mate, uh, got a delivery for you guys from uh, Day Ag. It's got a, a load of bolt bags for you. And he looked at me like, I just killed his cat or something because <laughs> he did not seem happy that I was there. So I, I sort of said, oh, smile, mate, smile. <laughs> yeah, so he goes, yeah, bring it on in. I said, well, just drive on in, yeah, right round. He goes, yeah, that's what I said. I was like, all right, no worries. So I walked out thinking, you know, he's not, not in the best of moods. And then uh, I put all my sides down, uh, got all my pillars down, got all the bags ready to be off lifted. And then when he come over, I said, um, yeah, I'm just going to pop to the toilet, mate. Do you mind? I, just, I said, I won't be long. And he goes, oh, I need someone to hold the bag for me. I need someone to hold the bag for me. I can't do it by myself. I said, yeah, yeah, I'll do it for you, mate. Don't worry. And I'm going to just go to the toilet. And he was like, oh, I'll have to wait till you get back then, won't I? <laughs> I was like, Jesus, mate. He's not in a good mood. <laughs> um, he sort of cheered up a little bit throughout the whole process. But yeah, straight from the beginning, I knew he wasn't in the best of moods. Turns out he's one of the only forklifters in the yard at the moment. And uh, all the deliveries are turning up at once. <laughs> so I think that white truck that we just saw there going in was, uh, by the looks of it, was also going there. So it might not have been, but you never know. You never know. Right, let's get crack a lacking back to South Sydney. I need to make a phone call just to confirm I am going back. And uh, see you in a bit. Right, we are loaded. Uh, just got to do a south level. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Level control. Activate level control. Just wait a second. That should auto level me. Yeah, we are loaded for the morning. We've got to go to Didcot tomorrow morning. And uh, I may well have uh, another vlog out for that. So yeah, off to Didcot tomorrow. But uh, for today, that's it at least. Come on then, truck. Good to go. There's pedestrians there, but uh, 
traffic has priority. Excellente! <laughs> yeah, um, got a bit of Didcot tomorrow morning for 6.30. Uh, may well do another vlog for tomorrow as well. Because I've been, do you know what? I've been, I've been vlogging, like, I say every day, yesterday and today. And I, I might do another vlog tomorrow as well. Yes, who knows? Who knows? But yeah, that's, uh, that's the end of today's vlog anyway, at least. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. Uh, it's been quite an easy day, to be fair. And the time now, what time is it now? It's, just, it's half past four now. So by the time we're back in the yard and parked up and we leave and it'd be about five o'clock. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Right, can we go, can we go, can we go, can we go? Yeah, we can go. A second or two later, we would have been able to go, but we can go. Yeah, lovely doubly. Right, beacons off. Weather's been a bit weird today. One minute it's raining, next minute it's windy, then it's sunny. It's been all over the place, all over the place. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it. Hopefully uh, you've enjoyed it, like I said. And uh, yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that jazz. And uh, until next time, drive safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.